Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Jeannie. Today, I am thinking to make an aloo gobi for lunch. Aloo gobi is an Indian recipe. It includes potatoes. So the potatoes, I'm gonna use it, the ones that I harvested uh, July 4th. And also, I'm going to harvest a cauliflower and some tomatoes and onions, garlic, uh, cilantro, cilantro or coriander and then i gonna make some aloo gobi and i'll show you guys how to make it this bed i have two cauliflowers that's almost ready it's a little bit brownish because the slugs are really enjoying it and i have this one as well here I folded the leaves of the cauliflower to protect it from the sun to keep it white but so far this kind of variety is purple so look it's beautiful even though I know slugs are really like climbing up and eat it so I'm thinking to harvest it this one now to make us my aloo Let's pull this one out this cauliflower and it's giant cauliflower I love cauliflower it's so delicious and I'm very excited to make it for my alugubi for today it's like a vegan Indian recipe this beautiful cauliflower that I planted it's giant and this one, I'm gonna compost it. I'll put it in my compost bin. I am going to harvest some of my tomatoes. There, we love tomatoes. It's ready now. Look, maybe I'll only get three for my aloe. Beautiful cilantro that already flowered. It, you can also call it coriander when this is going to make into seeds. So I'm going to pick some in here. It smells good. Hmm. So delicious. I love cilantro. My husband doesn't like cilantro actually, but I like it. And also. I'll probably add more, right? More cilantro. So I'm going to get some mint. I'll put some mint on it. So uh, a twist on the taste. Sit there. And I'm going to get some chives, chai leaves. This is my chai leaves. And also I'm going to harvest garlic. One garlic. This is my garlic. Got some garlic. So this one, I'm gonna put that in my compost. I have time. Look. Swipe it. Clean it. There. A bit better. And I have to get some onion in the other bed. Onion, onion. You guys remember I planted some onion here? Looks they're really doing well. So I can harvest one of this here yeah done mm. shopping for my garden they look all fresh to make my aloo the indian recipe so i tell you why i know about this uh dish because i work with the indian family before they are super nice very supportive um so i used to make this indian 
uh, food for them and we really enjoyed it so now I'm going to make it on my own and my husband and I have been really enjoying the Indian food a mild not too spicy so yeah so it's gonna be exciting and I'm looking forward to have this alugubi for lunch some potatoes that I harvested I will keep the skin out because it's still good and crispy and then I will cut this uh, ingredients but before that I have to wash it thoroughly um, I'm not so worried about it because there's no chemicals that's been sprayed in my vegetables already ready my spices so I decided to put it in one bowl to have less dishes you know it's hard to wash dishes sometimes too much work so that's salt uh, one half one teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of cumin that's uh, turmeric and uh, one teaspoon of turmeric and half teaspoon of curry and then that's uh, one four teaspoon of peppers and half teaspoon of paprika so now i'm going to slice my ingredients first i'm doing the garlic from my garden so oh sorry it's a bit loud but it's really important to cut it a little bit smaller so guys I like cooking but you know cooking is one of my hobby I do bake too so with this uh, alogobi it's very vegan uh, lunch so we are really encourage ourselves to eat more healthy and eat uh, vegetables from the garden as much as possible so I'm done with that garlic so I'm gonna slice the leaves so the leaves of the garlic is really good um, how to call that uh, spice for your cooking um, it's really strong smell it's like a garlic too so yeah and and then that's enough for the garlic and i'm doing the onion it's like a scallion it's still small but yeah i don't buy onions anymore because i just harvest it from my garden My cupboard is a bit loud because I chop usually fast in my kitchen. Sometimes I cook for 15 to 30 minutes and my husband is like, voila, it's already done. It's like you did I use my genie magic. Like genie wish me grant me uh three wishes. Yes, that's enough for now. And I'm gonna cut the three tomatoes as well. Tomatoes is really good for this alugobi because it gives like a sour taste and also like a vibrant color for the dish. I love growing tomatoes because tomatoes you can use it in different waste salad like spaghetti lasagna or even pizza or even you can make it salsa as well it's a uh, very and like you know uh, multi use multi use you can use it any anything for this uh, tomatoes so for cilantro, I'm not going to mix it with my dish. I'm just going to put it in my own plate because 
my husband doesn't like the taste of it so that's probably what I'm gonna do so I also gonna add a mint like a little minty taste on my aloe gobi it's a twist for this one and now I'm also gonna this is how I just sliced so what I have to do is I'm gonna get another board this is for my vegetable cutting board um, I'm going to cut my potatoes I got four potatoes so I cut it like cubes um, to cook it faster that's how I do it if I especially if I'm rushed I like to to cut it small pieces less time of cooking that's my secret that's why sometimes my husband like oh you're already done cooking yes that's my secret so you just cut it in like tiny pieces then it will cook like at only 15 minutes usually vegetables you don't have to really worry about cooking it uh, to be soft you can cook it like just like a little bit crisp crispy unlike the meat you have to really make sure the meat is cooked to avoid the uh, E. coli or like you know bacteria on the meat right so yes so I'm done cooking with the potatoes I'm gonna get a plate I'll transfer the potatoes in this plate then I'm gonna cut my cauliflower so I got this cauliflower from the garden can you see so cauliflower it's crispy okay I'll transfer that there give a little bit space in my cutting board you can hear it's really crispy especially it's fresh from the garden so if I don't post much of my cooking because when I cook I only have like limited time so everything is like go 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 so but this time I'm gonna share with you my alugabi recipe um, it's really easy to make this alugabi and it's just healthy and I love the flavor, the curry taste, and the turmeric. Turmeric is really good for your health. It's anti-inflammatory. So, uh, I remember turmeric was uh, been really uh, uh, like famous last year. Everyone like buying turmeric powder and put it in their meals, vitamins, and those kinds of things. So yeah, this turmeric is a great way for you guys to be healthy. And uh, uh, I like the color, the yellow color of it because it's like inviting to eat the food. It's not just like so plain, right? Yeah, my, this variety of cauliflower is purple. Last year, I planted cauliflower, but it's really all white. I can't remember what type of variety is this. Um, it's, uh, yeah. 
I love the color, actually. They survived. My cauliflower survived, even though the slugs like attacking it and eating it every day, every night. So I'm working in the evenings, so it's a bit hard for me to go and like uh, take the slugs out from my vegetables. Um, yeah, so it's because it's been the summer here in British Columbia. It's always raining. Yesterday it rained and today it's cloudy. Hopefully we'll get more sun uh, this month. Um, yeah, so I'm done cutting with my cauliflower. So I'll put that aside. Um, I am going to start sauteing my vegetables. So I only need, um, I need oil. But first I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. So I have oil. So you like this one. So I just put like uh, two tablespoons of oil. So I'm gonna turn on the um how you it stove. So I just like estimate it. So two tablespoon. So like a chef, sometimes they don't measure when they're cooking. So they just use their instinct. Like that's what I do most of the time when I'm cooking. So that way, when you cook. Uh, it's way faster to cook your meals because measuring all the time is taking time for us mummies and daddies who loves to cook so yeah so my oil I'll spray it around oh it's hot enough so I'll put my onion and garlic I can smell the garlic and the onion. It's really like strong garlic. It's a Russian garlic that I planted. This garlic, I just left it from last year and then it just come out this springtime. So I, it's so like relieving that I don't have to seed my garlic again because um, it come out. I, I think I leave it purposely because garlic it's the garlic tastes better when you plant it in like in fall uh, and then they just come out after this winter now I'm going to add my tomatoes smells good so now the tomatoes the onions and garlics are ready I can add some mint and then saute it and I'll add my spices so yeah I, it's very easy to put all together because you just drop it right less time to for washing your dishes. It's just practical for me. And now I am going to add my mm, a small curry in here. Add my potatoes. Potatoes. There's some here. Mix it. Flower. Cauliflower. It's very purpley. I love this flower. Cauliflower.
except my vegetable. And it's been five minutes. Fifteen minutes is over. I'm excited. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to have this for lunch. Actually, it's gonna late lunch now. It's already two o'clock. So I'll turn off this one and then I'm gonna serve it to my student and myself and my husband. Mm -hmm. So I added some chives on top and cilantro leaves and flowers. Really so. looks good. Delicious. Uh, Lugubi.